Hey YouTube, it's Boots here. Maddie's my camera lady today. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did my dreads. They look really silly at the moment because I had them up for work, so like the ponytail and everything made them all crazy. But I have one that I forgot to do over here, so I'm gonna do that one and show you guys how I did my dreading process, if I can find it. Or maybe Maddie can help me find it, because I'm blind. Hold on. Oh wait, nope, I got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this stuff out of the way. <laughs> I'm coming to you, Maddie. I'm coming to you. All right. So what I did is you take the hair and you twist a little bit like this, like in between your fingers. You roll it between your fingers, and then you pull it apart. And you just you don't have to rip it apart. You don't have to do it fast or hard or haha. <laughs> that's what she said. You don't have to do it any kind of inappropriate way. Just kind of take your time with it. And believe me, if you don't, your arms will ache and your fingers will ache, and it'll just it'll suck. So take your time with it. Um, but basically, it, it probably doesn't look like it's doing very much. Well, actually, this one kind of is kind of fast. Anyway, um, and th the roots are kind of loose. Like, the knots are starting about here, and the rest of the roots are loose. But I'll show you how to do root rubbing here in the next video in a second. So just hang tight. Um, but basically, you just keep doing this until you get all the way down and I guess Maddie if you're patient enough you might want to get comfortable because I'm gonna try to finish this whole thing on this video will take five to ten minutes thumbs up gotcha um I guess enjoy me dreading this I don't even have any music on or anything right now um it'll get kind of twisted up as you're dreading it and I like to um have a metal comb with me <laughs> So um, while I'm doing it, if there's like a thinner spot, because sometimes if you stop during the dreading process and uh, like untwist it and then retwist it, you get like flatter spots. So I like to use a metal comb to try to pack them together and make the dread more round. Um, so basically, can we get some shots there? If you can. <laughs> some expert camera angles there. I'm sure, because I don't have three arms or else I'd be doing this myself, and I don't have eyeballs on the end of my fingers, so I can't see what's going on on that, so I have Miss Maddie help me. And yeah, I also recommend having something to put your arms down on, because holding my arms up like this, like, my shoulders already hurt, but it's cool. It's for you, YouTube. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and if you try to do a lot at once, like, your thumbs will get raw from all the twisting and everything. Um, it's not very fun, so just don't expect to do it all at once, because it's probably not going to happen, even if you're doing like really big ones. The big ones dread faster and easier, but you're still going to be doing anywhere from like 20 to 60 or something like that, so yeah, just don't, don't count on it. 20 would be a very small amount of very large dreads. Like, that'd be 10 on each side, that'd be like five a quarter, which would, oh my goodness, it would be really big, but they'd be really fluffy, I guess. <sighs> okay, I'm going, I'm going. Maddie has no comments. <laughs> All right. Hey, All Maddie. Right. hey, Maddie, your tongue's messed up. Oh, man. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem with Converse? Because that makes me mad. Like... I have a friend who's like, yeah, high tops do it, but low tops don't, but my low tops always do that. My high tops and low tops do that. Really? I guess it's probably just because I have to tie it so tight up by my ankle, because I have scrawny ankles, that it just doesn't move around. Uh -huh. It's just like, nah. I don't like my shoes to be tied tight. It hurts my arches. Oh, yeah. I don't on, like, the top of my feet, but around my ankles, it's okay. Cause, yeah. I mean. So your ankles. Like, the very top one is the tightest one, but whatever. Anyway... Okay, see, I'm kind of getting towards the end now, and uh, it's getting harder to twist and rip it, and in this instance is where I would have a comb, and I do not with me at the moment. I'm not going to run and get one. I'm just going to not back comb this one. I'm just going to palm roll it. But generally, what I would be doing at this point is I would take all of the hair and kind of hold it loosely at the ends, because if you can see, it's not like even. Some of them are shorter than the other ones. So just hold it 
by as little as possible and back comb it up like this. Actually, I guess that kind of works too. <laughs> Until you end up with like a little bit that you, your comb can't grab onto anymore. Like that. And then take it in your fingers, kind of like a cigarette, like this. Right above where like the fluff starts. Basically on the first section where you can get solid knots. And then put it against your palm like this, and you roll it. You press, you put pressure on it, and you roll it around until it stops getting fluffy and kind of gets all... Here, I'll show you in just a second. Also, your hand and fingers will hurt from doing this as well, so that's why you don't want to do a lot of the time. My fingers were raw for a bit. But see how that end is? It's kind of all puffy. And then... Yeah. Sometimes you'll have like a little weird scraggly on the end, or it'll look funny, but don't worry about it. You can always um, back comb the knots up and redo it, but you do that, and then you palm roll down it like this, and you can finger, if it's smaller, it's better to finger roll it because you can control the pressure, but anyway, and then there's a the dread. Ta-da! So there's my little friend. Yeah. See this one? That one's really little. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do that. And then um, I'll make a video about what to do with the roots. Bye, YouTube.